Ah, uh, yes, so 99 cent store, 99 cent store only stores, mostly on the west coast, have started branching out over to the east side in the US. Now, the thing I fucking hate about this store is that nothing is 99 cents anymore. It's not like 10 years ago where everything was 99 cents and they sneak in a couple $2 items. Literally every fucking thing on almost every shelf is not 99 cents anymore. So, look, energy drinks, one ninety nine. Like, look at all these prices. There's nothing which is 99 cents. Yeah, you can find some and whatever, but, like, you know, look at these whole shelvings there. Like, you can spot one 99 cent item. And the worst bit is the fucking freezer and the fridges. Look at this bollocks. Three ninety nine, one ninety nine. 199 What can I actually buy in here for 99 cents? Why don't you just change the name of the store to Walmart or something like that? But not even Walmart, because Walmart's milk is at least a dollar cheaper than this bullshit. So what it is, like, you used to come here to the 99 cent store, and you'd always have it in your mind, oh, the 99 cent store's the cheapest place to go, you know? And then they slowly sneak in all these bullshit prices and products. Like the bread, for example, they just doubled it overnight. You can't even buy a dollar loaf of bread anymore. And then it's you're still in your mindset of like, oh, 99 cent store is still the cheap place to go. It's not. You go to fucking Smith's, Albertsons, Walmart, anywhere else, it's so much cheaper than this fucking shithole now. And the problem is they just got greedy. It's not only shrinkflation where they make the product smaller, but also they doubled the price. You can't do both of those fucking things. It's bollocks. So uh, here we're in the pet food aisle. You can't even get a can of fucking pedigree chum for a dollar. What the hell is that? Is that a mattress? Like some cat cereal and litter for six dollars a pop? A nice little foam roller there. How about a shower curtain for five dollars or a bullshit pillow from China? Uh, yeah, some dog jerky there, five dollars. I remember one time, uh, well, sometimes they don't even price the items right. They'll just won't put any price on the shelf. You get to the checkout with like 30 things and you look at your receipt and like half of them ring up wrong. What is that, a fucking curtain what, mattress thing for $16? Why is it even in this store? Why can't we just reserve that for something else? It's, what a crack of shit. So, yeah, look at these. Like, I'm not homing in on one item or anything. I'm actually going down, you know, the whole store, and you can see. Like, it's, it's not one item that's, you know, a couple of dollars. Look at that wrestling figurine for six bucks. You can shove that up, you fucking arsehole. Some old man bent over trying to take a shit for three dollars. Who's gonna buy this bullshit? Like you can't even get your kid a toy for a dollar anymore. Look, it's every single fucking one in here, and it's not like it's branded or anything. Get some glue for school for five fucking bucks. So yeah, here's some containers, uh, various things. As you can see, I'm going around the whole store. Look, a notepad for two dollars, three dollars for that one. Uh, yeah, health health stuff too. Rubbing alcohol, all kinds of stuff. Now this is bollocks. You see there's no prices on this shelf at all. Not at all. And they all ring up at 150 by the way, so don't touch that piece of shit. So here's some kitchen utensils. You know, you can peel some potatoes for 199 It should be called the uh, 99 cent store, but there's a strong implication that there's like ten dollars before the 99 part here's some fucking plant pots for 99 underneath it's 149 fuck you welcome to the store some bin bags for 299 what a load of bullshit and what gets me the most is these price labels say great value yeah great fucking value for you taking my money you piece of shit and that fucking chocolate bar that's always by the checkout with no price on is 150 so fuck you <laughs> I'm